And we are back. You guys got to check out our snazzy new NASL logo. I wonder where our official mascot is, man. As we said, guys, we have a yeah, lot of new stuff the this season. Dog. And one of the new things that we have is a mascot. We have our official he's mascot. Around here somewhere. And we love him. His name is Chance, and he's a German Shepherd. <laughs> he's freaking cool. And man. we're going to bring him to the finals in, uh, in, in Toronto. And, yeah, he's going to be dressed up in like an NASL. He's going to be our MC. He's going to be like, double wolf for it, Rafa. <laughs> 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 I want to do like a cast one day where it's like, I'm, I'm sitting here, and Chance is like sitting right here between us. Yeah. He's just like looking at the camera. He approves. What do you think, Chance? Oof. Such a great dog, and uh, yeah, he's our official mascot. We just uh, mm -hmm. we doped him into our official. Maybe we can get a glimpse of Chance before we go live into the I next I game. Actually, oh, there's Chance. <laughs> <laughs> Chance. <laughs> Chance, the esports doggy. The camera's trying to follow him, but you guys. <laughs> yeah, we love Chance. him. Chance, hey, hey, Chance, buddy. say hello to the people. Come say hi. This is our mascot. Hey, buddy. There he is. There's a good looking chance. Oh, he's so handsome. <laughs> he sure is. Anyway, man, I think it's okay. time for uh, game two between Alternate Cloud and Liquid Hey Pro. This is, in fact, a StarCraft show. So we are going to go ahead and jump into game number two between Hater and Cloud. I want to say that that first game was brought to you guys by GameMinder. GameMinder is a really slick app for your smartphone that uh, lets you set reminders about cool things like game release dates and, and, and NASL broadcasts. So go <laughs> check out. GameMinder at handelabra.com slash products I'm slash GameMinder. I'm still old-fashioned, man. Still don't have a smartphone. It's all good. That I'll Nokia 3100. Yes. Or is it the 8100? No, it could be. <laughs> I wish I could buy a Nokia 3310. 3310. And I, like, if I get really mad once, I would throw it at you. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, that would kill me. I know. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> take my head off. You can't do that's like that's assault with a deadly weapon. Yes, it really is. <laughs> it's like attempted murder. Yeah. Man, that would be bad. All right, guys, we have alternate cloud. Our yellow Terran, of course, our yellow Italian Terran spawning on the top side of Antigua shipyard. And we have Liquid Hapro, hey our lovely Swedish Red Zerg spawning in the right corner side of the map. Hapro hey just played absolutely fantastic game one. There's really not much more to say about it and that's even more impressive because we say that several times how well Cloud has been playing lately and of course Hapro has been really busy too he's been going to the IPL he's been traveling around a lot in general meanwhile we have our mascot sitting down yeah, behind he's us he's just like dropped he's like just chilling I love it it's yeah. awesome until he has dog farts <laughs> chance doesn't smell bro <laughs> I think you smell <laughs> man wait why are you so aggressive <laughs> is it because you're so mad about Vegas <laughs> Anyway, Cloud why, is why don't you tell us one story from Vegas? You haven't told a single Vegas story. Yeah, that is all inappropriate. <laughs> you know when it, you know when it's bad when I don't want to talk about it. I, that's <laughs> what that's what baffles my mind so much. Ben, we just said it earlier. Grass is greener. If it comes back, then we share all the Vegas okay, stories. Okay, that's that's a promise, guys. Ten thousand <laughs> subscriptions. Grass is greener and Vegas stories from Roddy. There it is. So go buy your HD pass if you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> By then we probably went to Vegas again. And, and if you have bought your HD pass, go buy another one. Because <laughs> we all want to hear them Vegas stories. Techland like being added here by Cloud, so he might be going for your favorite build in Could the whole wide world. Could it possibly be a Reaper opening? If Cloud is opening Reapers, he's doing it for me. That's, uh, that's and if he does it, I want to know why you love this build, man. Oh, I'll tell you why I love the build. Oh, <laughs> there it is. There's the Reaper. I love Reaper Expand. Why yeah. do you love Reaper Expand? Well, let me that? tell you, Kev. Here's the cool thing about that Reaper. Mm -hmm. it, it serves as an invaluable scouting tool. <laughs> you're, you're virtually guaranteed to get up into your opponent's base and see what's going on. As uh, Hapro does some nice little drone harass there, picking away at that SCV. Uh, but that not only is that Reaper going to serve as a great scout, keeping Cloud in the know, it's almost always going to do some bonus damage. Its, it's sole purpose is to scout, and if it kills a drone, that's, that's, that's bonus, that's extra. If it kills two drones, that's, that's a lot extra. So, I mean, why wouldn't you Reaper expand is the real question. It's a very interesting story, man. It's the first time I really thought about Reaper expand like this. <laughs> <laughs> Besides the other 3,800 <laughs> games I tested <laughs> with you, and you shared the same story. Man, even Day 9 made fun of me for, for talking about yes. Reaper expand. Yeah, I heard that. I was like, what the hell? At the NASL Season 2 Finals, that was really funny, man. I giggled a lot when he said that. Somebody opened Reapers in Days Line, it's like, somewhere Mr. Bitter is clapping. Something. <laughs> something like that. And I was clapping as it was the great thing. <laughs> no, he said, somewhere in, the, somewhere in this big hall right now, Mr. Bitter is explaining why he loves Reapers. <laughs> 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 really, actually, nice arrest so far by Cloud. This Reaper See what really I mean? Look at the bonus damage. <laughs> the bonus damage, Kev. Uh, it's a uh, five Zerglin kills. So uh, that Reaper saw a gasless April. 
knows that okay, he's gonna be droning hard, so I don't have to uh, I don't have to worry too much, and I can drop Ooh, this third command center. That's so or is that quick. Just yes, it is the third command center, which is exactly what you want to do when a Zerg is gasless like this. If a Zerg is gasless, he can't really put on any pressure. He's got slow lings, and that's it. Very very economic opening over here by Cloud. I'm loving it. Seems to be shaping up for a long game. Uh, hey, bro. So far, everything pretty standard for him. He has three queens out on the map I'm right now. I'm calling it right now. Cloud wins this game because he's played it perfectly so far. <laughs> Actually, four queens on the map already for Hapro, so he's gonna have a yeah, he's gonna have decent creatures at the start. Of course, as soon as those Hellions make their way over across the map, it's gonna be a lot tougher for him. I'm very interested to see where Cloud takes this though. Okay, his economy is gonna be great, but do you think he's even still gonna follow it up with some sort of a timing, or is he just gonna lay back, get no. a ton of Marines, get a real scary army, and then just try to take the middle? I would be really surprised if he did a, any sort of like pre 12 minute timing yes. with such a fast third command center. Um, uh, he's not gonna take a third base immediately. I'd, that would also surprise me a lot. He's just gonna use it for SEVs and that extra set of mules, and it's gonna make his economy great. Uh, he'll, be a, he'll be very comparable to the Zerg economy. Uh, and uh, like honestly, this kind of style of Terran, I have the most trouble playing against this. I'm, I'm not sure what the right thing to do is. Nurcio says just take a fast third, mm -hmm. build a lot of drones, and, and play your normal style. But uh, when I try to do that, it just doesn't work. So uh, I guess can I can imagine it's still hard to deal with a lot of Hellions then early on because despite Cloud being very economic, he's still going to have quite a few Hellions. It's going to be hard to uh, protect all your drones. Yeah, oh, you're right. Uh, and it's hard to spread creep. It's hard to get out to that third base. And Hellions are just so good at just being like a, den a denial unit. We can see that Hapro's already building roaches, eight roaches, in fact. That is a lot of roaches, which, uh, as it as it happens, could be an excellent answer to Cloud's fast third base that Hapro has scouted. So uh, the thing that's going well for Cloud is he's got siege tanks popping out in siege mode about to finish. So these roaches have really got to hurry up if they're going to do any damage. Yep, speed is being researched. That drone once again got out pretty quick. So Hapro is going to be on pretty quick three bases as well. If we take a look at the income tab right now, we see 41 drones over 26 SCVs uh, for Cloud. Cloud, his siege uh, attack is really early though. That might just be for safety purposes. And you can see him sieging yeah. up straight away. In a sweet spot. Yeah, in a very strategic posi uh, position. Has it completely walled off though? So Roaches could still, uh, second tank is out. I don't think that... Uh, you do not want to run in there no, with Roaches. That would be a bad a bad choice. And and now we see actually an even bigger, pro bigger problem for Hey Bro. He's built eight roaches, he's got four more that popped out, so now he's on 12 roaches. Yeah. That's a big investment, and he needs to do damage now to justify that investment. So I kind of, I sort of feel like Hapro's in some trouble. Ooh, he's gonna try to do something, but this That's is true. absolutely impossible. Yeah. What kind of reminds me of like, I did, w di I did a little bit of uh, guest commentating at the IPL4, did you see that? I totally missed it, I didn't uh, know that you did that. No, you just should've like, like texted me, I'd have been tuning in for that. <laughs> just one best of three, I did uh, parting versus um, Slayer's Gunsy. And it was actually kind of similar. Um, Gonzi had like the best opening ever against the Gateway Push because he had two tanks in a position like this, yeah. and then on Metropolis before the Gateway Push even started, or when it was like halfway down. I was like, okay, this is never ever going to work. And I was like, oh, is it going to work? I was like, yeah, it's, never <laughs> ever, it's never ever going to work, bro. And then like Parting walked in, and like after two tank shots, he's like, okay, this is never going <laughs> to work. <laughs> Very and Roddy was like, smart. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I think Hey Pro's doing the best thing that he can do is gonna knock down these rocks so he's got an avenue into that third. He's making lots of creep. He's now starting to get into that big drone production. But, but he's behind, man. Uh, he's, he's quite behind, in my opinion. Uh, Cloud already working on those upgrades. Does Hapro have any upgrades at all? He's, uh, he's on 1-1-2, one, one, but it's gonna go. they're gonna basically even, which is... The only thing that's gonna speak for Hapro, though, is despite making so many yeah, roaches, creep spread. Uh, that creep spread is gonna be really, really important. Oh, I love this single roach here. Only he had Burrow. Well, when he had if only the command centers could land on roaches and squash them. Right? I saw this video. Saw Wasn't that a cool video? Yeah, I'm going to show that on my uh, on my little segment later on in the week. You guys can see what I'm talking about. One roach. It's One roach does times. fall, but at least it gave Hapro some information about okay, the tanks. Maybe he even spotted the upgrades on the, the marines. I hope he didn't because that would be misguiding information. Since uh, One one will be ready very very soon. But still, I mean, the Roach saw something, he knows what time it is, he knows it's going to be very hard to do something about that with Rosaline. So I guess we're just going to see him tech pretty hard. Yeah, look how good Cloud's economy is. Three bases, 62 SCVs, so many orbitals. Is he building a fourth one yet? I haven't seen it. I, don't think I guess did. not quite yet. Uh, but uh, I would expect it kind of soon, maybe when he drops his next set of mules at his third. Mm -hmm. um, he is adding in a couple more factories. He's going to have mega siege tank production. Holy cow. Hey, Pro is going to have... Um, I mean, he's going to have such excellent map control. It's going to be hard for Cloud to really move yeah, out. Yeah, and Cloud's the guy that will not push on the creep. He, he is no. slow and methodical 
uh, to a T, man. So, um, but I still think he's playing this game pretty perfectly. He's he's established his economy. He's uh, he's taking his time. He's not pushing it. He knows that he's at the advantage because of what he saw Hapro do. Yep, Hapro wants to make sure no hidden stuff is going on. He doesn't run into a planetary fortress somewhere, somewhere when he doesn't want to. So Ooh, good scouting. Away, Tom Cruise. <laughs> Single heli in is going to try to get a good scout off, but it's going to be hard for him to see a lot as well. Bernie Glance being researched right now. Both players just really gearing up, going into heavy macro mode. Man, that is the bravest Hellion I have ever seen. He is like deep in enemy territory. Uh, his SUV is pretty brave. Oh, now he's dead. Did get the confirmation that there is a fort base or a fort hatch going up over here for Hapro, so that is really nice for Cloud. He knows what he's up against as well. I like what uh, I do like what Hapro's doing. He's making a lot of Zerglings. Uh, which will serve as a, as a, if they can get up on top of those siege tanks, it's going to be pretty epic. His hive already done? Man, Hapro gets a fast hive. No, it's lame. Oh, sorry. Why did that look like a hive? I'm casting off of Roddy's screen for those of you that are at home. Because as we said earlier, these games were played earlier. It's a replay, and I don't want to risk my replay desyncing and uh, us being at the wrong point in the game. It's also a lot easier to follow the on-screen action that way. Thank you very much, man. We do uh, truly appreciate your sacrifices for esports. <laughs> it's not a sacrifice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. Hyper has a lot of money, uh, but Hype is still not on the way. That's something that surprised me. A lot of minerals, not a lot of gas. Uh, there we go. I guess that's because he's just made six or seven investors. Hyper is just controlling the map right now. He knows what's going on. This is the first time Cloud is really going to move out. But this is straight away a big commitment. Cloud really cannot get steamrolled whoa, whoa, with his whoa, army. Look, there's the creep. <laughs> yeah. I go, man. That was part of my plan. <laughs> Wasn't counting on that. Hapro, one of the best creep spreaders in the business. Here on Must be a liquid thing, man, because uh, Tilo is so good yeah. at it as well. Look at that, 14 minutes, and he's at the opposite side of the map, across. He, he hasn't missed a single tumor advancement. I love how safe uh, Cloud is. Uh, leapfrogging forward as well. Strata would just run up with everything. That's <laughs> <laughs> so true. No, I lost. I did but too. But, but that's something in TVZ. He loves that donating that siege tanks. Yeah. <laughs> so funny, because I think. The day Stralik stops doing that, it's the day Stralik starts like winning so two in a freaking good. <laughs> because he does everything else perfectly. And he's just like, here's my tanks, guys. Both players are maxed out right now. Spire on the way for Hapro. Uh, greatest spice almost done. Two additional command sets. Hapro just gonna Ooh, go for it. I don't know if that's the best choice. It's not a great engagement. Here come the investors. Can they land some fungals? No, they cannot. Cloud. Lost a lot of expensive units over there. I mean, I like the engagement, but it's just really hard to make everything sync perfectly. Once again, Cloud's completely on siege. But it uh, still doesn't work. Yeah, Hapro engaged at the right time, but he engaged from the wrong angle. Yeah. It was everything through a single narrow choke, and it just, it unfortunately doesn't work that way. So He's going to try to do it again and again. Maybe go for a counter attack. Ah, this time from behind. Again, still not going to work. Clouds has got too much, and that's not an army you're in the fight when it's all seized up like that. Uh, Lings might pick off a bunker, but that's something that Cloud is fine to do. Cloud well, barely lost anything, as you can see. Yeah. Resource lost up as well. Hapro literally lost twice as much. He did have a better economy for a long time. And he is saving time for the greatest fire. But right now, this is actually a super scary moment. He's going to lose his fourth base. There's nothing he can do about that yeah. anymore. And the fourth going down, he's going to have a very difficult time sustaining any sort of blue bullet production. He's losing that very valuable gas. There is going to be a counterattack, though. And this is a, a great counterattack. There's no units back here. Cloud's maxed. So he's going to have a handful of Marines popping up. But that's all. So many SCVs uh, are going to fall to that. Uh, most important thing, he's forcing Cloud to retreat right now. Yep, buys him some time, but still going to lose that fourth base, unfortunately. Uh, and while Cloud does lose some SCVs, he's got a lot of extra command centers, so uh, that's, that's not going to hurt too bad. Uh, not at all, he still has 64 uh, alive, that's more than enough. Cloud already going into Viking pr uh, production as well, something that he could have never ever afforded in the previous game, because his economy was just never as good as it was yeah, in this one. that fast three orbital, man, it's, it's so good and it's so hard to play against. And it's just the perfect counter to the gas's style that people are Ooh, these Marines are actually going to be able to do quite some damage. Look at this, oh, they're going to pick off these Brood Boys. Oh, found. Forces the cancel there. He killed a couple of Corruptors. He's going to get some... No, maybe not. Lang's coming in, and here's the Investors. So, Hacker will clean up. Even without, without us, man. The it's, just the, it's just their presence. <laughs> that, was, that was actually nice patience not to drop the energy there. I agree. But Cloud is still moving forward with 177 supply, 189 right now. Army supply, 125 against... Uh, well, right now, Apro is producing a lot of units. With those Broodlords, however, it's going to be a bit tough to Cloud, but he does have six Vikings on the map already. Let's already help him out if he can do something. Uh, you're exactly right. And, uh, Cloud's got a pretty solid position here. Uh, there's those first Broodlords. Will Cloud on siege? Looks like he wants to go ahead and fight. Uh, big Marine squad moves up. They're going to get fungal. Beautiful fungal. Wow, that hurts badly. Hey, uh, Cloud losing a lot of units there. Hapro all of a sudden swinging up in supply quite a bit. And uh, well the Vikings will kill. Uh, well? A lot of the oh no. Actually, all of the Blue right now going down for Hapro. And this might just be curtains. 
Pro players have an insane upgrades. amount of money. Three, three upgrades on their bio. Uh, Vikings even landing to deal with these infested Terrans. So, uh, Wahipro, I, I guess, is he even going to clean this up? No, I, I think it's going to be very tough. If Cloud keeps reinforcing, it's going to be tough. Maybe with 36 Zerglings, because a lot of these units are very low in HP as well. But I know it's one like that. Down as well. Third base under fire. Tanks are there as Cloud reinforced. He's starting to you see that stream of yellow making its way forward. And those lanes are just running in, running in in like a line. That's not going to work, man. Uh, still has a little bit of money, so it's a little bit longer. But uh, first tours arriving now as well. Now finally we have four blue notes again. But there's just zero NTF for April right now. Absolutely zero. What a great game by Cloud. Hapro played very well also, but he just he got too far behind. I think it was the Roach commitment that really killed him. But. Uh, is that a Thor? It's two Thors. Thor's here. Here, but Thor dies. But the Rublos will die for Hapro as well. Hapro, despite still having a little bit of money, 1,000 minerals, 1,000 gas. Yeah, yeah, what can he do? Uh, did that third go down? He's Viking, too? man. It's been around forever with like 2 HP. That's definitely Tom Cruise. That's Tom Cruise. Like, only Tom would stick around for that long. Yeah. And Iceman driving the other one. He's been staying out of the action. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like, you're dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Zerglings do engage some of these tanks and marines and uh, April is just trying to survive a little bit longer but so many reinforcements coming in for Cloud right now. Yep, and uh, Cloud will just push up into this third base. April is taking a fourth up at the top of the map but it hasn't even gotten any drones there. And I don't think April is going to be able to muster defense this time as there is, this is just a really nasty turn on yep. Thanks out that hatch as well. It does land a very, very nice fungal. I love April's uh, fighting spirit as well. Never give up. As long as you have some brute loads, you never know what's possible. And as long as you have money and gas, yep. uh, you might as well try. And he does have hatches around the map as well. So if you saw Mother's got a couple of uh, insane engagements, but Cloud's economy has been so good for such a long time. Yeah. And Cloud actually took really good care of his unit. A little counterattack. The Cloud is all over it. He even has a Thor there. <laughs> Final, uh, perhaps, uh, stand by Hapro right now, but he doesn't really clear off this army either. Uh, Hapro barely has anything left. Take a look at the yeah. unit. Uh, counted that right now. One zergling and two infested. <laughs> He's got a lot of drones though. Yeah. A lot of drones, but nowhere to mine. I really love this one, Zerkling. Cloud's still just attacking expansions. Doesn't even really bother committing to the main. GG comes out of Hapro. Cloud ties up the series. It is 1 1 now. No photo of Cloud there. No, that's so weird. We should work man. on that. I have a lot of photos of Cloud. Yeah, we can we can call Carlo up. Hey, Carlo, send us your best pick. No, he's pretty photogenic. You know, like this boss that's been around the marathon runner right now is like the most photogenic guy ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like everybody's like that tired in the marathon, and this guy's like. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. We should take that picture and just put Cloud's face on. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so cool. No, as you said, man, I think great game by Cloud, and I think Hey Pro, maybe as you are as well, as you said, you have a lot of issues dealing with this play stuff from Terran. Seemed like Hey Pro had some too, because. I mean, he made a lot of roaches, which were useless, mm. but that was pretty much the only thing that he did wrong in the early stage, yet that first engagement really didn't go his way, and after that he was fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, 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 you're, you're exactly right. And uh, on Thank the other hand, Cloud just did everything right. Uh, he got the Reaper Scout in there, saw that Hapro was gassless, and from okay. there it was just a matter of playing it out. He knew exactly what he needed I'm to do. I'm going to warn you guys, you're going to hear this for the rest of the NHL season. Every Reaper single Expand is the best build every in the world. TVZ, every single TVZ, this guy's going to ramp TVZ, up. TVT, TVP, you, you can never go wrong with the Reapers. All right, man. All right. So uh, we're going to – oh, no, not, we're not going anywhere. I have to say thank you to iBuyPower for sponsoring that last game. iBuyPower builds the PCs that powers the NASL. So go check them out, iBuyPower.com. Buy one for yourself along with that premium pass that you're signing up for right now so that you can win SSDs when we give them away later today.